we're going to insert some page numbers and headers into your manuscript here. So I have mine ready to go and we will start off by just heading to the insert tab over to page numbers. You have top of page options, bottom of page options, depending on your genre and preference. I'm going to start out with top of page in the right hand corner right aligned. Now you can see I added all of them in there easily. You can change your space from the header to the top here. You can make it bigger as you can see bigger there or back smaller there. I'm going to keep it at 0.5. And so you can see the headers are there. Now we got a problem because your gutter margin is right here and page two should not have the page number near the gutter margin. It should be on the outside corner. So how do we fix that? Make sure you double click and are back in your header footer settings and choose different odd and even pages right here. Now we have to go back, make sure that we're still in that even page header, insert, and we'll insert page numbers once again, only this time we're going to do the left aligned page number so that it goes to the outside of your even pages. So you can see now how that added that in right there. We'll close out of the header footer settings again and make sure everything is looking good so far. Next up, when you start a chapter on a new page, you are never going to have your page number or a header at the top of that. It just doesn't look good aesthetically. So we need to remove that. And we also need to add this chapter two to a new page. So let's start out with that. Let's go ahead and add in a section break. So we are gonna click at the end of chapter one, go to layout, and to breaks and we'll go to next page. Next page happens to be page four and we need our chapters to always begin on a right page which will also be an odd numbered page. So we need to add one more section break in here to get this to the right page. Okay so now we have our chapter one on page one and our chapter two on page five so it is an odd number as well but we still have some issues here. We have a blank page here that we wanna keep this blank page, but we don't want that number four there. And we also don't want number five on chapter two, and we don't want number one on chapter one's page. So we need to eliminate those. How you do that is double click back to open up your header footer settings. And the first page is really easy. You're going to just hit different first page and that will eliminate that one. The next thing you are going to do is go down to your page five and double click there. Now, currently it's just a continuous flow from same as previous section. So it's going to be just adding on from the previous odd pages numbers. We want to unlink that. So we'll go back into our navigation section here under header footer, and we're going to unlink that. And then we are going to simply delete the number five there. And that will take care of that section. Now we also have number four here that we need to delete. It also says same as previous. So we're going to come up here again, link to previous. We're gonna unlink that and go ahead and delete that out. Now we can see that we have a problem here because it did delete the number six here, which we need that to be continuous. So how do we fix that? I'm gonna double click on that. This is same as previous, same as previous. We'll go to number four, unlink that same as previous, but also number six, unlink previous. So now it doesn't repeat what I just did to number four. So we will backspace number four and close the header footer and it keeps that number six in there. So now we have chapter one, page one number is hidden. Chapter two is, or page two is there. Page three is here, page four is blank, page five is blank because it is a new chapter, and page six. And the last thing you can do is to add your headers in there. So for instance, on my even pages, I'm going to put, let's say author name, and I can tab that over and then adjust to be, let's keep it centered. And then on my odd numbered pages, I am going to just do my novel name and again, let's get that centered and we will close that out. And as you can see, that adds that in there. Occasionally, if we have that unlinked to previous, you're going to have to add in that author name again. 
and it's just going to be something you're going to have to play around with because Word isn't necessarily the very best at it. Sometimes it works great, sometimes you're going to have to manually put some things in. But that is how you get started on inserting your page numbers, making sure you have that odd and even pages correct, having that header in there, and getting those section breaks in. And don't forget, if you ever need to, you can always use that paragraph symbol and see where those section breaks are at as well to help you out. If you liked this video and are interested in a complete guide to learn all the steps to create your book and self-publish it, check out my Notebook to Real Book online course. Link in the description below along with some other free resources.